it's been four hours since you brought Gloria Helen, in here? You gotta take it easy. At least Brooke is still in there. But should the doctors have been able to stop the labor by now? It's too late. What do you mean it's too late? That baby is on the way. Ted, no, not yet. She's only six months along. Her baby can't be ready yet. I... Well, take it easy. Take it easy. It's just not fair. It's, it's okay. not right. Look, the doctors know what they're doing. Everything is going to be okay. Take it easy. Now, Gloria's baby would have gone to term and could have gone to term if it wasn't for her lousy father and mine. What you know, it's true. She never would have gone into labor if it wasn't for that man. Okay, oh, even if she had, she would have been able to drive herself to the hospital, but instead she couldn't because she was being held captive. Look, Haley, even if it is true and your father has done it again, it doesn't do you any good to sit here and drive yourself crazy. The best thing you can do right now is to try to concentrate on, on, on things that are positive, like Gloria and her baby. What my father did never would have happened if he had been stopped, which is exactly what should have happened if I had my way. Wait, wait a minute. Are you blaming me for what happened here? Is that Charlie, what you're trying to do? you fought me every stop step it, of the it. way. Knock it off. Okay? This is a hospital. You guys, come on. Look, it's over and done. There's nothing we can do about it. All we can do now is try to support Gloria and, and keep Adam from doing any more damage. <clears throat> Doesn't make any sense to sit here and start lobbing bullets at your allies. I think we're all on the same side. No, no, that's where you're wrong. None of you are on my side because you don't know like, what it's like to be one of his kids. Only Skye and Junior and that little girl in there fighting for her life understands. Really? I'm not an ogre. I just, I, I, I want to apologize. Is she okay? Well, no thanks to you. You know, you pulled some pretty rotten stunts in your time, Adam. By kidnapping a pregnant woman and holding her against her will when you knew she had a life-threatening condition. I thought the condition just, was a phony. I, it's a new law even for I you. I thought it's something she invented, a ploy just to keep me away. Well, you I, have proof now. Are you satisfied? Brooke, you know that I would never... My wife oh, yeah, yeah, that's you all over, the king of good intentions. I wanted this baby just as much as she did. come anywhere close to Gloria, even to show your... More than enough, Adam, without you doing anything else. She... She looks so... I don't know, so lost and empty. I've killed my baby, haven't I? Killed my own child. The baby is alive on a ventilator. She's hanging on. It's a girl. Gloria wanted a girl. And a Charlotte. No. Gloria didn't name the baby after your sister Lottie. She named her Anna Claire. And thanks to you, that little baby is three months early. And her lungs are not developed, and she can't eat on her own, and she's covered with IVs and electrodes, and she's barely two pounds. Congratulations, Dad. I suggest that you say a prayer for her. I can try. Good. Did you call Dixie? I tried, honey. I left a message at the general store. As soon as she checks in, she'll call. I, I know she will. There's no phone at the Cooney family cabin. Well, would you give her my love and please tell her not to worry? Listen, try and get some rest, okay? I will. Thanks. Thank you. Try to take it easy. Gloria, she's really brave, you know. So are you. I'm proud of you. You're a good coach. Brought back some memories. Sorry. No, no. Some of them were good ones. 
You know, sometimes I can't help myself. I find myself looking at Jamie and I start to imagine our second child. I know. I had imagined a daughter, really. Some little girl with dark hair. Looked like you. A girl? It's just an instinct I had. Yeah. I'm glad we can talk like this. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me, too. 